stereo on the uh, in on the dryer. Let's hit it. Let's hit it. There we go. You know what? I can't hit the stereo because it would be a copyright infringement. So let's just <laughs> pretend like the radio is playing. All right. So here we go in the garage. We think Buster. <whistles> Hell yeah. We're gonna fix this truck. You know. Um, just about two days ago, maybe three days ago, this um, awesome truck of mine developed a fuel leak. Oh man, look at the puddle. That's just after like four minutes. I am leaking fuel like crazy from somewhere. Look at all those drips. That's all gasoline. I got to get under here and figure out what the deal is. Okay, well, the thing to do is to uh, walk over here to the uh, super organized tool station and try to remember where you set the, uh, this thing. Yeah, you need this. Okay, here we go. Under the rig. <coughs> gotta, gotta get under here good, you know. Uh, I'm no rocket scientist, but... The plan right now is to find uh, the source of this leak. Woo! I think it's right out of this. It's got to be out of this hose right here. Can you see that? There's a big, big gnarly hose right here with some sort of coupling. And I'm pretty sure she's she's uh, squirting fuel out the side of this coupling. Uh, all right, I'm getting under. Gonna get a get gonna woo. Gonna get a better look. Well, I got to tell you, I uh, just learned something new. Uh, and, uh, you know, that never hurts, doing stuff like that. And that is not a fuel line. That's an emergency brake line. Uh, and this line next to it is a brake line. So the fuel leak is coming from somewhere uh, up above. Why couldn't things be easier? Because, well, can... Anybody see that? Hold on. It's kind of tight. I'm kind of tight, but I think I got the lamp on there. Okay, up in there. Behind that cross member is a bundle of all kinds of lines. I think it's a, mi it's a mix up of fuel lines and brake lines. And they all look bad. Okay, so a while back I uh, was working on this truck. And I decided to. Uh, something smart for once in my life and I grabbed a grinding wheel and I just cut a hole in this floor of this bed got a hole right in her and I installed that brand new fuel pump how is she looking well um I mean, it doesn't look new anymore, but there are the fuel lines, you know, return and whatever. Those babies got to be replaced. Uh, just a little cleanup. I'm not entirely jazzed about the way the everything collects on top of this fuel tank and uh, where my, you know, my sender is. This is this is quite a piece of machinery right here. I think it costs about 400 bucks. It's uh, a Nissan replacement part. It's not cheap, and it, it um, stuff collects up on top of there. So, problematic. First, what I'm going to do right now is uh, I'm going to scrub her down with some water. All right, check out the awesome results. Whatever. Made in Japan. It's a nice pump. Should last a very long time. Now, I scrubbed, it, scrubbed her down with water, and now it's time to hit her with a WD. Guys, um, you already know this, but... Uh, you know, just for the sake of shits and giggles. Can anyone tell me what WD stands for? Huh? Stands for water displacement. My God, if you get, don't buy these things. What, whatever kind of lid that is. Complete disaster at my house. I don't, uh... <laughs> it's just kind of it's terrible. You know, I guess it's somewhat useful. I keep it around and stuff. It just pours out of the can, like, sort of like ready whip, you know, like, I don't know. It's kind of fancy. I'm not loving it. 
I've got these little caps. Uh, they're really vacuum line caps that I don't have them kicking around, so I'll just cap off these fuel lines for now. And, <clears throat> you know, there we go, capped off. Jeez. That's, um, you know, I'm going to have to sit back and think about what's next. Not really sure. Is this thing focused? Come on, buddy. Listen, if you have any ideas on how to proceed on this project, just leave a comment down below because as, a, as of this point in time, I'm, I'm sort of like officially out of ideas. I'm going to have to do some research, perhaps. Um, not my favorite thing to do. But uh, somebody out there somewhere knows something. Ain't that always the truth? Um, okay gonna button this project up I guarantee she's not leaking anymore because everything's capped off and um, we'll see how this goes all right boys I'm out